Welcome to Murray Mysteries. Hey there, listeners. Huh. Feels a bit weird talking to a mic again. It's, um... It's been a while after everything. We just all wanted to rest and grieve and rebuild our lives. We went back to the UK. Jonathan and I got our own flat. New start. John went way overboard with the cat furniture. I'll be honest, listeners, I I, I was just going to leave it at that. This podcast used to be about my life until it dramatically changed. And then it was about pooling our resources to counter a threat. So once the threat was gone... I just didn't really see the point. John is the one who changed my mind, actually. Um, He said you guys had been on this journey with us and you deserved closure as much as we did, so here it is. The epilogue. I wish I could tell you everything's great, that we all lived happily ever after. And we are happy, that is, in our own way. But it's not that simple, what we went through. It's, it's not something you just forget or, or get over. It's always going to be a part of us. We went back to Romania in the summer. It, it was weird and difficult, but also felt healing somehow to see this place and know it was safe we stayed at the inn Jonathan stopped out on his way to the castle and the innkeeper was so pleasantly surprised to see him she gave us complimentary breakfast and an extra night for free Van Helsing spent so much time talking to her about local legends we almost missed our train We're all being treated for our trauma, though it took us a while to find a clinician who actually believed our story. Turns out having the esteemed Dr. Seward and Professor Van Helsing on our side didn't make us that convincing. Most people just assumed they got caught up in our delusion, but Dr. Coley took us seriously right away. It didn't hurt that she's great at her job. Jane really wanted to hire her so bad. She's she's still mad about the conflict of interest. Anyway, things aren't perfect. Far from it, but they're okay. We're okay. Hey, Jane and I. Yeah. <laughs> Quincy. Hi, little friend. Oh, you are such a good boy. Oh, yes, you are. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy! I'm so sorry, Jonathan. We've been trying to teach him to sit still, but... He takes after his namesake. Exactly. Speaking of the devil... Quincy! Yeah? I meant... Never mind. You know, as uh, flattered as I am, the name thing is a tad confusing. See? Quincy 2 agrees. No, no, no. He is Quincy 1. But but I came first. (laughs) All right, all right. How's physical therapy, Quincy? They said with a body like mine, I could survive a nuclear bomb. They're not wrong. Everybody ready for game night? Aren't we waiting for Van Helsing? I think she was uh, busy with Dr. Vincent today. She probably got caught up. 
I resent the assumption that anyone could leave me to let down my friends. Down. Good boy. Have a treat. How do you do that? Practice. Please teach us what you know. Later, maybe. Right now, I'd like to crush you all at Cards Against Humanity. I'm not sure that's how the game works, but before we start, uh, we have something to show you. Um, Mina? Ta-da! <gasps> oh my god, you guys! I'm so happy for you! When? Where? How? What? Tell us everything! Congratulations! Jonathan proposed last night. He recreated our first movie night date. Um, blanket fort and all. Took a few tries uh, with the cat around, but... The beast jumped on the roof sheet in the middle of John's speech. You just wanted to be included, didn't you, buddy? Oh, yes, you did. Yes, you did. It was all a bit of a mess, but it was perfect. She said yes, uh, clearly. Clearly? That ring is wonderful. I picked it out years ago. I was walking around with Lucy trying to find the entrance for some speakeasy and she heard about it and she stopped in front of this jewellery shop and pointed at the window and she said, this is Mina's engagement ring. And we'd only been together six months at that point, but I went in and asked if I could reserve it while I saved up. I still can't believe they let you do that. What can I say? I'm charming. You sure are, bud. Hey, what does that mean? That is fantastic news. But don't believe it'll stop me from beating you at everything tonight. <clears throat> We'll see about that. Oh, last one on the sofa cleans up the games. Hey. You're on. Careful. Jane, run. Ah, uh, fine. Out of my way, amateurs. I made the food. I'm not cleaning up. I made the food. Jonathan, we're engaged now. What's yours is mine. So unfair. Too late. You're stuck with me. Oh no, whatever will I do? Murray Mysteries is a Nove storytelling production. This episode was written and produced by May Tudick and featured Drew Victory as Mina Murray, Rebecca Krause as Professor Van Helsing, Tom McGinnis as Quincy Morris and Jonathan Harker, Bevan Tankard as Dr. Jane Seward, Ari Willis as Art Homewood. Original music by Sophie Kay. If you like our work and would like to support us, you can sign up for our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Nove storytelling or follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Tumblr. Thank you for listening.